What is up guys? The next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Schlink. Schlink is a URL shortener and if you've used something like tinyurl.com it's basically the same thing except it's free and easy to self-host through Coolify. Once we've self-hosted it we'll get a platform that looks like this and we will use a YouTube video to shorten the URL and I'll show you how to do that. So let me show you how to self-host it. The first thing we're going to do is go into Coolify and in the Projects tab we're going to hit the Add button and we're going to call our project Schlink. You can call it whatever you want. And then select the production environment. Click on Add a new resource. Search for Schlink. And now you got to choose the server that you want to self-host it on. If you've just set up Coolify, you probably only have the local host. I would suggest getting a second server and then test all your apps on the second server itself. And this is because if one of your apps crashes, it could cause the entire Coolify server to go down if you're using local host. So I would highly suggest to use a second server. So I'm going to choose my second server. And in here, we are almost done. Before you deploy, change the URL that's automatically generated here. So I'm going to shorten it like this. I'm just going to call the default service Schlink. And then the web portal, I will leave it as schlinkweb.selfhosteverything.com. And now we're ready to deploy. So let's go ahead and do that. So our containers have started now. So let's close this window. And let's wait for these both to be green. So the first one is healthy, but let's wait for this one to be healthy and then we can visit the URL. Now that both services are green, let's go ahead and copy the web portals URL and paste it in a new tab. And there we go, we're greeted with this welcome screen. Click on the default server, so click on Schlink. And we are almost done. There seems to be an issue here. It says something went wrong when loading short URLs. So let's figure out why, and I actually already know the reason. So if I click on Manage Domains, it actually says Provided API Key does not exist or is invalid. So if this happens, it's because the, if you go, if you go in here, there's an environment variable called Schlink API Key. And this Schlink API Key is used as the initial API Key when setting up the service. So basically, we need to ensure that this API key is the one that's configured for our server. So I'm going to go back into the environment variables tab and copy this API key, go back into Schlink's web portal, and in the servers, we're going to hit manage servers. And right here, we only have one. We're going to hit the ellipses icon and hit edit server. And as you can see, this is a different API key. So go ahead and paste the one that we just copied, hit save. And now just click on the Schlink URL here and click on Schlink again and we're ready to go. So that's how you fix that API key issue. So now I'm going to show you how to actually shorten the URL. So I'm going to go to this YouTube video here and then we're going to paste it here. We are going to add a custom slug. So we're going to call it Mozart so that when you go to slash Mozart, it will be mapped to this Mozart video. So hit save. And there we go. We now have our shortened URL. So go ahead and copy that and open it up in a new tab. And as you can see here, we have got slash Mozart after our domain. So click enter. And it worked. It has successfully shortened the URL. And so with that, that's how you self host Schlink and fix that small API key issue if you ever encounter it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like this series, I consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.